I just, look, here's one. Put it in. Didn't think it was gonna fly that far. <laughs> 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 I thought I was gonna like fall too short, like boop. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So I know what you're thinking. It's August, and this girl's here with her July unboxings. Long story short, I was waiting on my babe box to come in before I did my Ipsy un unbagging. So yeah. This is my Ipsy unbagging. We're gonna see what I got this month. I've already tried out one of the products in here. And so we're gonna go ahead and get into this unbagging. This is what the bag looks like this month. I thought it was super duper cute. I actually really like this bag. If we ever travel, ever travel, ever, I will use this bag. <laughs> so, let's, I lied. I've tried out like two products in here. So. First things first, I'm the realist. But anyways, is this Twisted Sista Curl Activating Cream. When I smell this, it reminds me of my childhood before I had good hair and I had to use real, it reminds me of the pink lotion for your hair. I wanna say real black girl products, but I don't know how many people will get offended by that. So you say it. <laughs> so, before I had real good hair, like, it reminds me of what the pink lotion smells like. I'm gonna toss it to my sister so she can smell it. It does. Pink lotion, right? <laughs> so yeah, I actually did use it today and my curls don't look like they usually look. They don't look bad, but I mean, they actually feel a lot more like lightweight and not so weighed down by the other hair product that I put in. So I did just mix this in because this is way too tiny to do my entire head of hair. So I just mixed it in with my usual hair products. But I like it so far. Like I said, the smell reminds me of that pink lotion hair stuff, but not as heavy as pink lotion. So the next thing I have is this Mellow Matte, matte Black Precision Pen Eyeliner. And it really is matte and black, and it's so, so cute, and I can't wait to use this. Next I have that came in this box was a Smashbox liquid lipstick in the shade Babe Alert. And that's just what the shade looks like. Super pretty, super creamy. We will see what it looks like when it dries down by the end of this video. The next thing is this Organic Kula SPF Mineral Sun Silk Cream Sunscreen. Full 360 spectrum, oil free, anti-pollution, UVA, UVB, IR, HEV, broad spectrum, SPF 30. You get in all the protections with this sunscreen. You might not even get pregnant if you use this sunscreen. That's how protective it is. So yeah, this is, um, I never use sunscreen. Ooh, stone me. But we're gonna die anyway, but it smells, <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything yet. But here's why I don't use sunscreen on my face unless it's already in a uh, foundation. I cannot stand the smell of sunscreen on my face. And when it's on your face, you have to smell it all day long. There's no escaping it because your nose is on your face. You have to smell it. And I can't stand the smell of sunscreen on my face. Now I was really surprised at the size of this thing because I got a face wash in my last box, in my last bag, but it was nowhere near this big. But I did get the, the Murad Environmental Shield Essential C Cleanser. Look how big this sample size is. Like. This is face wash for a month for me. Maybe even months. And so I can't wait to use this. It says that you can use it day and night. I'm actually running out of my nighttime cleanser, so I might just start using this at night. Um, I really liked the last face wash that I got, so hopefully I like this one too. This was the other thing that I tried out was a Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer by Ciate London. It's one of those like sticky primers, like it gets sticky on your skin and like kind of grips on your makeup. But the thing is, I don't know if it was my dirty makeup brushes breaking me out, excuse me, or this primer, because I started breaking out around the time that I started using this primer and around the time that my brushes need to, needed to be washed. So I guess I'll keep trying it out now that my brushes are clean. And I will let you guys know, oh, the scoop. Okay, down to the last two products. Why did I get so much in this Ipsy bag? That was a lot of products, right? Right, isn't it only supposed to be like five? products? Right. Oh, because I buy extra products. 
I bought three extra ones. I paid for these three extra guys. These are three dollars each. So the the, the, sec, the one of the last things that I got was this Laritzi Cosmetics Dew Pot Illuminator. So this one is in the shade Utopia. Let's go ahead and swatch it. And it's just like a cream highlighter. It doesn't. Ooh, that's pretty. It doesn't like that's that's super pretty. It's like a peachy pink shade. That's really pretty. So yeah, I can't wait to try that out as well. I should probably stop wiping all the makeup off on this ironing board, considering we iron clothes on here. So yeah, so that was one of the last, and that's a really big too. That's a really big size product. I don't think I'll ever go through a cream highlighter that fast that's this big. So yeah, that's Laritzi Cosmetics Dew Pot. The next thing is this Making Moves Blusher, Phase Zero Makeup, and oh, it's the shade is Making Moves, and it's a blush. So this is just what it looks like. It has a really good little tiny mirror in there. And so let's go ahead and so watch this so I can wipe it off on the ironing board again. And that's the color of that. That actually complements that highlighter really, really well. And I'm actually starting to like blushes like this that kind of have like a sheen to them. So yeah. So like I said, you guys, these are all the things these five things right here are all the things that originally came in my ipsy bag the five products and then i did add on these things for three dollars each i think is really bad because you're still mm, so from 10 at 313 you're still not paying that much for it and you don't have to add this stuff on i just do it because i'm an impulsive buyer and they always send me an email saying you want to add on anything and i go and look and then i buy it so yeah you don't have to buy that stuff, but I think it's pretty awesome. I don't think those products are bad for $3 each considering they're really, really high-end products. But that is it for this unbagging, you guys. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. If you haven't already, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And also, you know you wanna subscribe, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah.